Hello everyone, welcome to the official Dream Crane Tears tutorials. My name is Marcel and I'm going to show you guys today why you might consider purchasing a Dream Crane Tears gimbal. Who is this gimbal for? Mostly people who like the single-handed gimbal operation instead of the dual grip and also people who are using the cameras with cages or slightly heavier cameras such as BMPCC but not as heavy as something like a RED or a Canon C300 for which you would probably go for the Dream Crane 3S. And this is also very suitable for people who like to shoot vertical videos. So for example, for Insta stories and so on. It has a flex mount system, which allows you to change between those two modes very quickly. All right, and before we get started, let's see which packages we have. First one is Dream Crane 2S itself. Very simple, just the gimbal itself with its tripod feed and also the three batteries included. This one will work straight out of the box and especially suitable for people who like to take only minimum amount of gear. The next one is Dream Crane 2S Combo. This package basically is the same like before, but beside that you get additional three batteries for an extended runtime, and also you get a dual hand grip. This dual hand grip allows you to basically enjoy sometimes the underslung mode or also holding the gimbal a bit more easier. And there will be actually a third package, Crane 2S Pro, coming out in October soon, which will include more accessories, such as a new generation of photo focus, image transmitter, underslung handle, etc. So stay tuned. And let's take a look what's inside the box. The gimbal itself, tripod feed, flex mount mounting plate, quick release plate with a one quarter screw, batteries, the same one like before, battery charger with USB type C port, lens support, camera riser plate, Inside this box, you will see a bunch of different types of cables. One is for the charger, the other ones are for camera control. And we got some additional screws and tools. Here's a quick start guide, how to activate your gimbal, and also the service card. First, we're gonna do is attaching all the batteries. The battery compartment is here. We can open it like this. The negative side goes on top and the positive side goes to the bottom. Now we take the tripod feet and attach it here. Now one thing I would like to emphasize is because this has no safety lock, so just make sure you give it a good twist on both sides and make sure that it is solid. All right, let's put all the axes in place. First, we take the pan axis, unlock it here, and move it like this. So you have basically both logos into the same direction. Then we'll take the roll axis, unlock it here, and put it in place like this. Lastly, we can see the tilt axis lock is here. We unlock it and lock it in place like this. Now we put this lever out and attach it like this. Here we can lock it in place. This is actually a 5D Mark II with a Sigma lens on there. It is not the BMPCC, but roughly the size and weight of it. Now, first thing we'll notice is that the quick release plate isn't the correct one, so let's remove it. Now, if you're using a camera package that is very solid, you could theoretically attach the quick release plate directly on there and go for it. But if you're using a camera such as the BMPCC 4K or cameras with a lens adapter in between, then it's very recommendable to use a riser and a lens support because then you can make sure that this whole package is solid and doesn't wobble somewhere in between. That was one of the most frequent problems that I heard from last time when people were using the Dream Crane 3S. And maybe this will help you to solve a couple of these jitter issues and so on. The riser plate has two parts here where you need to connect it. So we'll first do it like this. So we'll move on the quick release plate one of the one quarter screw out the way and put in the other one. And here we'll take the last one quarter screw and put it in here. We'll first attach the riser to the camera. In the package there's also a Allen wrench tool which you can use to tighten it better. 
And now let's take the quick release plate and line it up like this. The arrow is facing towards you while the lens is facing away from you. We'll line them up here. All right, and now let's take the lens support and attach it here. Now we can see that this whole camera package is solid. With the lens support, it makes sure that this doesn't wobble here in between. And we take off the lens cap and attach it to the gimbal. So here on this side, you can see that even if you have a BMP CC 4K that is wider than this 5D Mark II setup, you still have a lot of clearance for that. We move it as much as we can close to this side. We lock it in place. But for this one, we'll take the mini USB to USB Type-C cable. We attach it here. And on this side is the camera control port. We'll put the USB Type-C end onto this side. So here we have the joystick, the power on off button, or the recording start stop button. Then the mode button, the navigation wheel, press downwards to enter the menu, you can press left or right to enter or go back. Press once on mode button to switch between the pan following mode or the lock mode. Double press the mode button to activate POV mode or vortex mode. Triple press the mode button to enter go mode. Long press the mode button to make the gimbal go into standby mode. Then on the front, we have a following mode button. Triple press it to enter selfie mode. And here we have the focus wheel to control your focus. So let's first go for a trans mount. If you want to quickly transform your camera setup from horizontal mode shooting to vertical mode shooting, you can do it very easy. You unlock on this side, pull the camera out, flip it like this, and attach it here. Just make sure your cable goes through here without any problem. This is pretty cool because you can do it very fast and you also don't need those L-shaped quick release plates. Now the flex mount system. Often when we change from tripod to gimbal and then back and forth, we lose a lot of time changing the quick release plate. But there is a cool solution to that. We detach the camera control cable here. And this time, when we take off the camera, we don't unlock here to take it off here, but we actually unlock this one. Meanwhile, press here to pull it out. Here, we can see that there is a mounting point for your quick release plate. So in my case, I will attach this one without having to also deal with this whole lens support system, I can immediately take this whole camera package, put it onto the tripod, shoot my tripod panning shot, take it off, and immediately put it onto the gimbal like this. Both sides, they do have safety locks, so you don't need to worry about your camera. So let's imagine I haven't pressed the safety lock, I just pull it out. I'm using a lot of force and it stays in place, it's pretty safe. And since we're talking about mounting, we can see that here you also have two options to attach external monitors and sound devices, etc. Okay, that's basically it about the basic setup of the Jirin Crane 2S. There will be more tutorials coming up, such as on balancing and so on. So definitely consider subscribing to this channel to follow up with these awesome content.